I don't know about you, but I really enjoy. I enjoyed studying and enjoyed watching Hongkyun or Hungar or Hongja. Um, I think it's a great style. I think it's one of the great southern styles. This is a book coming out of the Long family, who are representative of some of the best of the Hung system. This is the first book that has come from them in many decades. Um, this is a memorial book. It's a special edition dedicated to the memory of Lam Zhou, the greatest Hong Kyun master of his generation, 1910 to 2012. Um, Lam Zhou is responsible for many, many, many teachers, uh, many students studying Hong. Also, I think, I'm not a Hong expert, but I think partly for the, the amazing consistency of much of Hong, as you go through the world, you find pretty much the same forms practiced in the same manner, with exceptions. Some teachers have certain forms, some others have others. Many people contribute to Hong Kyu, so there are a number of newer forms of variations. But the core of um, this form, this style, is shown in this book. They, they do have one representative set, Gonji Fukfu, which of course is a famous, famous uh, Hong set. I've always loved this set because it has one unusual feature, which is it does one-handed actions on one side, and then does the other hand actions on the other side, and then does mixed hand. It's a, it's a beautiful set, and it is said to have the real core of um, the Hung principles in it. Um, the other two sets, of course, very famous in the Hung and the Iron Wire, and of course the Tiger Crane. This is a beautifully done book. It's forty-five dollars. We are. I don't know if we're sole distributors, but I think uh, in the West we are presently are the sole distributors for it. It is, as you can see, nicely done. Um, beautiful typography, good translation. Lam Zhou was known to be vigorous and full of life, and even at the advanced age, continued to practice Kung Fu daily. He often credited his Kung Fu training for having such a positive effect on his overall health, well-being, and long life. So nice, nicely translated. Um, here's Lun Tsai Wing, the bridges, Kui Sal, Ding Kui, basic techniques, beautifully laid out, uh, like beautiful photography. Um, someone has a nice eye for design. Um, it's cardboard bound with burlap, raised, the famous diamond or triangle shape of the Hung system, raised author's name, good, raised on the back, or impressed on the back, beautiful. To tell you the truth, the only thing that I think they should have done is encased it because it's such a beautifully done product that it is um, that it's difficult to keep in pristine shape. So when you get your copy, you know, put it on the shelf and don't touch it. No. <laughs> Read it and make sure you keep it in this beautiful collector shape. Look at this. Um, all These are well wishes and salutes from instructors all over the world, including Donald Hamby, our friend here in America, and many, many other instructors. There are applications given for the Gunji Fufu. I think the particularly interesting part is the history, the legacy. This is a kind of general movement that's happening in southern China, which is very interesting, where people are kind of standing up and saying, you know, MMA and whatever the fads are and all the changes and all that, we as Chinese practitioners are going to promote what we know to be the whole picture of our art, which is history, um, ethics, philosophy, experience, um, community, which is very important. And this book really gives a feeling for that. Wang Fei Hong, the first Hong innovator, um, illustrations, nicely placed photography, just a really well done book. And um, 
like I say, I think it will have, I don't know, I hope it doesn't have a particularly limited um, edition, but I, I feel this first edition of it with the cloth cover and all that will be something you want to keep for many years to come.